yeah, the schematic view, this will be added as a tech preview and it will be a building block for the upcoming rail signaling capabilities that will be added on later on. And uh, by adding this schematic view to the plan profile and 3D, this will pr provide a unique design environment for rail signaling. And uh, the low voltage rail signaling that will target a completely new user category. And um, this was developed by Claude and Roman. So we can take a quick look at what this is all about. So we've got a geometry here with some crossings and sidings. And before we can create a schematic view, we need to create the topology. So the topology is an underlying technology for the schematics. So we select the geometry and uh, the topology will be made up by nodes and edges. And if we take a look at the Explorer, uh, we see the geometries and we've got a start node and we've got an end node and we've got a turnouts in between. And we've got the edges there linking the nodes together. All right, so from here on, we can create the schematic view. We select the geometry, uh, we open up a new view and can display the schematics. Same here, it's made up by nodes and edges. And if we click on one of the nodes, we will then get the manipulators so we can fine tune the schematic view to make it more you know, suitable. The edges there got a relation back to the physical geometry. So if we look at the properties there, we've got a scale ratio for the edges. So we can relate this back to the physical. And tying the schematic view together with the plan and profile in 3D, again, this will provide a unique design environment for rail signaling.